What's up gamers, it's Luigi here, and today I thought I'd do a little something different. A little bit of the old commentary style video. Now as you may know, Super Mario 35 is no more. They took it off. And that makes me so sad. Because I was late to the party. Why was I late to the party, you may ask? Well, when a new game comes out, I always, always expect it to be around for years and years to come. And I never expect that game to go away or to disappear whatsoever. I've been playing games since I was four years old. And when I get a game, like I could go back and I can play an Atari game right now. And it's fine. It works perfect, you know. I always have that game because it's physical. But this digital stuff and the way we're going, I will never buy a digital console because if they decide to shut the servers down or whatever and your hard drive fails or if you need to connect to the internet to be able to access your digital products and it's no more that system becomes a brick you might as well just make it into a coaster or maybe a coffee table or whatever you want to do with your digital systems and that just makes me sad i don't like the way digital stuff's going it makes me sad about mario 35 because i was so late to the party that i only got to play it like maybe a handful of times and it's actually a really fun game you know i i've seen it and i was like oh it's just super mario brothers against like 30 you know 35 of you or whatever oh that's kind of cool idea but I didn't know how cool it was until I started playing it. And actually, I didn't know that it was going away. I got on the social media platform known as Twitter. And I can't stand Twitter. I get on there and I'll like advertise my video. But if I'm on there for more than like five minutes, I go insane. I can make a whole other video on this topic if you would like. But Twitter to me is horrible. It is so toxic. A lot of people on Twitter, all they do is cry all day and they want to cancel everything and they don't even know why they even want to cancel it half the time. People will make up accounts just to try to argue with you because they don't want to use their main account because they're too scared to actually have a civil conversation. So instead, they'll make up an account just to troll you. So I can't stand to be on Twitter, but there was a hashtag going around talking about like something about Mario dying or or whatever and I was like what are they talking about you know and I wanted to check the hashtag but at the same time it's usually crap whether it's a good thing or a bad thing like it could be like so and so donated to charity and it's like oh that's cool and then you click on it and then they're all like so and so needs to be canceled because they did this 27 years ago and they're bad they never apologize for it I mean Twitter is nuts so I didn't look at the hashtag so if I would have this time, I would have known about Mario 35. So I got to play it at the last minute within the last few days. And as a matter of fact, I got kind of a bonus day because Super Mario 35 was supposed to shut down like what, March the 31st? But when I stopped playing it, I left the game open, just kind of put my system in sleep mode. So when I went to play again later, it actually let me in and other people were still playing. So I got to play it pretty much on up till they shut it down. And let me tell you, Super Mario 35 is amazing. But me personally, I'd want to see a Super Mario 3 or a Super Mario World like that. Of course, it wouldn't be 35 after all. But still, those games, in my opinion, had way better controls than Mario 1. And Mario 1, I love it. It was my first Mario game. And then later I played the Mario Brothers for Atari. But it was my first Mario game, and I love it to pieces. It's very memorable for me, but I have to say the controls to me are terrible. Mario is so sluggish, and he doesn't move very fast in my opinion. And when you go to jump, you better commit to that jump, baby, because if you don't commit, you're going in the hole. Like, if you try to pull Mario back, there's no pulling Mario back. It's too late. You're gone. In Mario 3 or in Mario World or something, you can kind of do one of those like, oh crap moments. Like you jump out and you're like, whoop, nope, I'm not doing that. You can pull him back. But in Mario Brothers, you're gone. And that's, what I, and that's one of the things I wanted to say. That game was awesome. I had fun. Like you play against other players and they'll be like killing enemies and those enemies be pouring into your game. You're taking them out. They're pouring into somebody else's game. And it can be really chaotic. You don't know what level's going to pop up when you finish a level. But the funniest thing is about me playing it was I beat myself more than anybody else did. Like, I would miss a jump 
I would fall in a hole. I would run into a goomba. I would do some of the dumbest things. Like all the enemies on the screen didn't even bother me that bad. It was me defeating myself over and over again. I don't know why, but that's just how it was. I just kept, I kept failing over and over. And if you don't believe me, watch this. You see what I'm talking about? I defeated myself more than the players did. And let me tell you, those trampolines in Mario Brothers, I can't stand them. If I could just jump over the trampoline altogether, I will. Because I hate them things. Half the time they work for me and half the time they don't. It's taking a gamble. Am I gonna spring off of this really high? Or am I just barely gonna go off and fall into the hole? I never know. I never got used to those things. Maybe some of you guys out there smash like if you're a Mario Pro and you have no trouble with them. That is awesome. Props to you. But man, those things always defeat me and I hate them levels. But all in all, Super Mario 35 is an amazing game. I wish Nintendo wouldn't have took it off. And if I'd have seen the hashtag on Twitter, I would have probably known sooner that they were about to cancel it. And I probably could have got to play it more. But you know what, crap happens. But also Nintendo's taking away the Super Mario 3D All-Stars and that, that makes me sad. I mean, I got my copy, I got my physical copy. I own the games on all the other systems, so I'm not too worried about it. But for a lot of people that didn't grab a copy or they wanna get it digital, well, you know, no more good luck finding that. You'll probably have uh, people trying to scalp it or whatever. I mean, right now I'm still seeing it in stores or whatnot, but I'm talking years on down the line. That's why I think stuff should stay physical, you know? So at least you have some chance of getting it. But in the case of Mario 35, they took it down and since it was an online game, 
you can't play it anymore and that's just sad comment down below and let me know if you'd like mario 35 to still be around because i thought it was fun i didn't get to play it that long and i think it should have stayed around a little bit longer than what they had it stick around but that's just my opinion you let me know what you think about it in the comments down below but with nintendo pulling mario like that and you know they hate emulation it just makes me like incredibly fearful for the future because i don't want digital nothing if i can get it all fiscal give it all to me fiscal because if you people don't know sony's having a bad time right now or at least they're going to because they're shutting down the playstation 3 the psp and the vita stores and what does that mean you won't be able to buy digital content anymore so that game you wanted that dlc will be no more and i don't know what's going to happen with the updates i've heard they've been having trouble people's been trying to update their games and they're having trouble updating them too so that's definitely not good because you kind of need an update to be able to play some of the dlc now one good thing is as long as they keep the servers up you'll be able to still play all your digital stuff even if the cmos battery dies which my cmos battery died in my playstation 3 here recently and that has to do with the date and the time and the trophies and everything else and if you're unable to connect to the internet to connect to the sony servers or whatever you can't play any of your dlc so i guess that means you have the bare bones game there's no updates and we all know some of these games have got to have updates because a lot of times when they first come out they can be pretty darn glitchy and i know these companies are against emulation and whatnot and me personally i like to buy my games i like to physically own them i don't mind giving them money for something awesome but if they're just going to randomly take down games and shut stores down eventually they've got to do something for consumers to be able to still play a lot of these old games to make them accessible they don't want us to emulate them but they're also not selling them i mean so at that point in time they're not losing money if you emulate a game that you can no longer buy from them i'm pretty sure they don't get the proceeds of the money from someone that you just paid 200 dollars for to buy a game from them you're not buying it from nintendo or sony or xbox or anything you're buying it from another person that's just happened to be selling it but i am so incredibly grateful for all you computer nerds out there you geniuses to find ways to be able to still play these games whether it's emulation whatever you guys are great you're, you're keeping some of these games would just be lost in time if it weren't for you guys some games you wouldn't even be able to play at all they weren't even released here or whatever and then there's some of you that even go through all the trouble to translate all these games so we can like read them and play through the whole game and that is just awesome but anyways sorry if i went off on a bit of a rant I'm just upset that Mario 35 is taking off. I thought I was going to have more time to play it. And I didn't get to play it. I was wanting to make a video of me actually playing it. But good thing I recorded some footage of me playing it. At least I got to do that to throw in the background of this video. That's why I just decided not to go with the whole face cam thing. And just you know do some commentary over this video. But just let me know if you guys miss Mario 35. Uh, let me know what you think about digital versus physical. I myself love physical because I know I can always play it. But luckily we have limited run games, strictly limited games. These companies, there's these awesome companies out there like that. Just they take something digital and turn it into physical so we can always have it. Even though it might be limited, still you have a chance of getting your hands on it or being able to play it after the store shut down and you can no longer buy it or if your hard drive crashes and you can no longer download it. So at least some people are out there doing stuff. But thanks gaming community for all your hard work and preserving all these games. It makes me sad when games like Super Mario 35 gets pulled off and you can't really save it or play it anymore. It's just, it's so sad. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the love and support. Smash like, subscribe, comment. Let me know your thoughts below about all this stuff sorry i went on a big rant kind of a bit of a ramble a little bit different style video but i appreciate you and if you stuck around till the end you are freaking awesome and i hope you have a wonderful day luigi out